Hey there, welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. Today's problem is the word problem that everyone dreads. It's the work problem, the house problem where one person can paint a house at this rate and another person can paint a house at this rate and how long will it take them if they work together? So let's get into it. All right, here we see. John can paint a 1,200 square foot house in 10 hours. Ken can paint the same house in eight hours. How long will it take John and Ken to paint this house together? All right, this is the problem that you think doesn't really exist in real life and only in sitcoms and things like that. But sadly, it does exist in our life, apparently. All right, so let's just say what we know, okay? If John can paint a house in 10 hours, then in one hour, John can paint one-tenth of the house per hour, okay? That's how much work he does per hour. And we should probably say that this is John, okay? And if Ken can paint the same house in eight hours, then Ken can do one eighth of the house per hour. And that's Ken. Okay, so then it's easy to see, and we can read this as one house per 10 hours, right? So he has, it's a rate of, so the rate is one house every 10 hours hours. Okay, it's important to be able to see that. Or one house every eight hours. Okay, because what we can say then is, all right, well, so together their rate, whoops, can't spell. Oh, that's awful. I got to fix that. Really sorry. Together their rate is one tenth plus one eighth. Okay, so that's basically eight, um, 80ths plus 10 80ths, right? And that is 18 80ths. Well, that's ugly. So 9 40ths. That's their rate together. So together. All right. So together 9 40ths. All right, let's get me some more room here. So how do we turn this into the answer? It's actually quite easy. So if we know that together they can do 9 houses every 40 hours. I want to know how long for one house. So one house, question mark, hours. That's it. That's all we have to do. Once we get their together rate of 9 fortieths, we set it, we make a proportion by setting it equal to one over a variable. So we're going to say 9 over 40 equals 1 over T, usually they make you do T for time. You know you can cross multiply to solve a proportion fairly easily. So this turns into 9T equals 40. Okay, we're going to divide by 9, divide by 9, T equals, or it's actually a repeating decimal, so 4.4 .4 repeating hours. There you go, that's how long it would take them together. These horribly unrealistic problems that somehow show up in every algebra class we ever take. I hope this helped. These get easier. You just have to set them up the same way each time. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way I can do your problem next.